Hello everybody, this is Ljubljana. It's been such a long time since my last um, live video that in the meantime we got in all this beautiful spring and it's so fantastic with the sun and you know we've been working really hard to get this weather. It was raining constantly for the last probably two weeks. Um, so today I'm still, you see, dressed quite a lot um, but it's getting to feel kind of uh, cozy and sunny so today I would love to show you one part of Ljubljana which we of course haven't seen yet together and those are these walls and we are gonna go all around this place um, and finish up at the river site um, the river is called Ljubljanica it's those terrible names of Slovenia um, always really hard probably for you to pronounce if you're especially uh, if you're from an English speaking world these L combinations seem to be really hard so um, let's take a walk um, I'll try to also show you some details um, on our way oh look the sun it's really nice um, I'm not in a super duper yo-yo uh, kind of mood which means I'm not jumping around of uh, happiness but I'm really in this calm pleasant um, mood to show you um, around um, and I love this door in front of us all of the Slovenians I mean the door itself maybe not that special right but look 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 up there ah yeah you didn't expect that did you but what I like about it here is um, and most of Slovenians or Ljubljana people would know it very well is the theater which is an open-air theater let's try to get closer I'm showing you this door from a close-up just because I want to show you the view I hope we can see it from here oh it's bright let's see uh, ah there in the distance should be a castle of Ljubljana there's the tower I can't zoom in better but what you can see is the inside of the open-air theater we are at so-called Križanke today Križanke, the name in Slovenian, um, translates and comes from the um, former owners of the whole estate. Um, this was quite a big area uh, in the city center itself. We are in the southern part um, of Ljubljana um, and those, this part was given to the Knights Templars at first and then later to the Knights of the Cross. Some of the orders that were protecting those, you know, ways and um, travel um, all the way from Europe until the Holy Land. I had stopped here because there's one thing here that I want to show you. Um, this is a very old wall as you will see all the way around when we walk in this beautiful park and it has some really strange details like this one here. I mean I'm not saying that it's strange as such but it's in the middle of an old wall. You have this marble entrance, which is um, quite modern. And then this monument dedicated to one of the most famous uh, poets of Slovenia, Sričko Kusovel, who you can see died at a very early age of 22 only. But why I stopped here, because I'm, I don't want to be guiding today. Um, I just want to take you for a walk. Is because this is just the opposite from my uh, university. And I so remember when I was studying here, look there, third floor, the art history department of the uh, Faculty of Arts of the University of Ljubljana. And every time we were standing up there at the, um, the windows, just before we had exams. So we would watch all the way down here, well I did, um, and we would pray to this guy here for a successful uh, <laughs> Um, exam at that time. Um, all the exams were colloquial which means that we uh, had to meet one-on-one -on -one with the professor and then it was all up to you whether he was in a good mood or not in a good mood uh, you would pass or maybe not or get a better mark but studying art history in this place with a view of these fantastic old walls as you can see it here um, was really inspiring uh, so we were studying and uh, waiting for the exams and just looking at this marvelous place here I also adore this park that um, you can see just behind me there uh, those walls probably would date back to 
who knows when because they've been uh, rebuilt so many times um, they're probably not even as really old as they look like but the appearance is really authentic and everything behind those walls is an open-air theater of Ljubljana which can take up to I think three no 2600 spectators imagine that in the summertime if it's not raining because it's open air um, you can follow the beautiful rhythms of jazz or um, even classical music sometimes rock concerts sometimes it's not a huge venue but it's really lovely uh, and it's really cold I was always so cold in this theater because somehow it's just is it's on the hill that um, descends slowly towards the river on the other side there and so somehow it always is windy and this um, chilly wind in the summers mm. well anyway everything for the culture right so as you will see um, people are out today uh, we're not wearing masks um, me myself I have not yet received the vaccine um, I'm still deciding how and when and how to do it all so not all of us um, have received it I have no idea about the numbers um, but uh, it seems that life slowly is going back to whatever or however um, it wants to be uh, from here on and we are arriving now to a beautiful square with cars unfortunately but still a beautiful square and some of you that might be followed um, my walks in Ljubljana a couple of months ago yeah I remember it was a Fat Tuesday it was the carnival time we started our walk here it was of course much less green than it is today but you might be um, maybe remember that monument but now at this time it's really pleasant you know if you ever visit Slovenia this is the time starting now look those old buildings I also like the cafe there there's a cafe down there if you can see uh, the umbrellas closed we used to come here a lot during our studies of course because you need caffeine to study art history you know it's thousands and thousands um, of data that we need to memorize so the square is quite pleasant I think uh, people are cooperative as you can see on the streets of Ljubljana uh, but today we're not gonna go that way that was the walk uh, we did a few months ago we are instead turning towards the river and the river is down there this way so we are headed now if you are very good with this orientation toward the east east yeah east of the city um, actually in Europe we don't really use the north south east west um, descriptions uh, of the of directions because our cities mostly well as far as I know have never been built in those um, north south axis um, like they were for example in the United States or in the so-called new world so um, we usually don't describe it like this I'm just doing it um, so that you get an impression where we are let's see what's happening here this is an open air theater after all so this is an announcement it's an ad 15th of july um, the orchestra of slovenian philharmonics okay well, this sounds okay it's one of the oldest in the world and the philharmonics will play but not here it's going to be in the congress square and then look at this one here e placido domingo will come I hope he will on the 8th of July and the symphonics of the um, RTV station of Slovenia look I wanted to show you this place I love this old stuff here it's just so beautiful this is the entrance uh, courtyard into the open-air theater it actually all used to belong to those knights you know it was a monastery after all since the 13th century the monastery of the Knights of the Cross and then you know Slovenia had this story um, after the Second World War with nationalization nationalizing um, the private property and the same happened um, with the Knights of the Cross who resided here um, they were kind of they left say it very gently and nicely and the place was empty and it um, later uh, belonged to the festival of Ljubljana and one part of it was redone with the architect Joze Plečnik the most famous 
Slovenian architect, if you only remember one name, that's him. Um, he renovated and restored this place so that it could um, host um, a high school for the design and photography. And this is what I like this place so much. It's because it's so arty. Look what he did. Um, so this was an old courtyard. Oh, you will still see students coming out and visitors. And look at this beauty. Isn't it marvelous? I mean, I'm sure that all of the Slovenians know this site. If there's any Slovenians watching, let us know. Um, this is the entrance into the open air theater there. On the left hand side at the end of the courtyard is the entrance into the, the high school or mi we call it middle school uh, for the design and photography. Then we have the restaurant here on the left hand side, so called Plechnik Inn. Remember, Joža Plechnik, the architect. Then we have the ticket office on the right hand side and this beautiful pergola and those columns and arches and now and then we can see um, a statue like I want to show you these two guys here for example these two here on the right hand side and left hand side look at this beauty do you like it I just adore it do you like eclectic styles it's usually a combination of old and new because on this very one look what you can see there's a probably baroque statue on the left and on the right hand side I would say she's probably Mary Magdalene or Saint Anne on the left hand side probably John the Evangelist and then what we have here is the decoration this was done in the 50s Plechnik was redecorating and look at those symbols is a five-pointed star a symbol of um, socialism at that time and it was socialism after the Second World War um, and a hammer on the left hand side look um, it's just amazing isn't it it looks so old and authentic but as a matter of fact it really isn't that old <laughs> it's from the 50s but what you can see behind there is a church that it's old it's a baroque beautiful church um, and the whole courtyard I think it's quite charming and romantic maybe it's romantic to me because you know I grew up here and we would usually go for dates when we went uh, to this open-air theater for concerts and then maybe go for a drink in this um, restaurant on the left hand side but also the details I mean um, look at that beauty it's just really amazing how how it looks like um, the so-called graffito an Italian technique of decorating um, l let's see it if we are already here why not take a look right a closer look look at all this right and gray decorations and the balustrades I kind of really like it do you like it and it's so quiet the entrance <laughs> what do you think look at that guy mm? there with the flute I really like him he's probably made of cast um, iron um, and he's quite famous because it's a symbol of the festival of Ljubljana um, that owns this old place the whole buildings except for the high school um, and I really like him he's like this quiet figure but look so much action here He's really, um, you see, a lot of spiraling and a lot of action and you can almost feel the music. I can almost feel the music when I look at him. It's like these turns and twists and so much happening. Plus a nice view out through the window on the, uh, the main street. But we have more treats um, to come. We are leaving the Križanke Theatre and on to this beautiful square in front of us um, down there you can see an old building I love that one ah, it says does it say in English as well it does uh, the red sign up there in Slovenian it says when in doubt visit a museum and then also the translation when in doubt go go <laughs> I can't see it well go to a museum this is the city museum of Ljubljana um, lots of history and a beautiful old palace 
made of many buildings connected together with a nice courtyard. Maybe one day we'll go in there, it's a museum. Then on the right hand side we have a church with a cross on the door. Of course there's a cross on the door. Those, wo those were the knights. Mm, let me try to get it really central. And if you ever are in need of a church for an hour, two hours, three hours maybe, you can actually rent this place. Nowadays they have concerts, um, especially in the summertime because it's cold in the winter. But in here you can uh, follow a concert or even if you have an idea, you can maybe organize an exhibition or maybe you can just have it to yourself. I like it kind of. It's 300, yeah, 300 years old, a Baroque style, like most of the churches in Ljubljana are. It was the golden era um, of Ljubljana, one of the golden eras, the Baroque style. And you know, there's such a beautiful atmosphere um, around here. Um, it's just so quiet usually. And then you have these views of the castle Everywhere we go in Ljubljana, you can see the castle on the hill with the famous white tower um, and the streets surrounding um, this square um, are quiet. But what I want to show you actually today is a special street. We are getting into this one here. It is called the same as the theater. Wait, let me go like this from a corner. Oh, only cars. But yeah. That's where we're gonna go and then turn left. And it's called Križijuniška. This is a part of Ljubljana where not a lot of visitors come. Nowadays, maybe more, but still. And we are only about 300 meters away from the city center, you know. Oh, look, I like this lapidarium. Uh, it's a backyard. You can see the side of the church here. Mm, nice windows. It's actually empty now, only one altar preserved. Um, it's like this secular place. Now, what is this with all these cars now? I'm waiting for the mayor to stop the traffic here as well. It's like the whole city center is a pedestrian zone and it's so beautiful. And this part, which is the most beautiful in my opinion, is not pedestrianized. So we'll have these cars parked here, but I think that further down the street um, there won't be any, it's not enough space for that. But where we're going to, it was an, a fantastic place, um, attached actually to, um, to the monastery itself. Um, and this street is one of the probably oldest preserved still in Ljubljana, which probably dates back to medieval times. Yeah, at least like 16, 1500s after the first big earthquake in 1511. And then you see the monastery would have an exit of the monastery, a side entrance uh, from here and it would go all the way down this street. Slowly, slowly descending toward the river. The river is down there, it goes like this in this direction. You can see a nice tower, uh, bell tower of the St. James, Cat not cathedral, a St. James church. But what I love is this street, you know, um, you'll see how it looks like with all these details and arty feeling um, and a theater, a very special restaurant. Um, it's so beautiful. It's called Križijuniška, which means the one that belongs to Križijuniki. Um, but uh, what I really like it is that in the past, the nights, who were here now behind me in the monastery would have their own private uh, port on the river down this street and that would have been their private imagine having a private port right um, for trading and bringing in goods that they would store in the monastery and then sell on i just look at this street isn't it beautiful I think it's just this time of the year that they will, the residents and those who are renting out places in Križijuniška, they are um, making it pretty now because they have this, yeah, I'm sure it's that. They will have the day of Križijuniška street 
um, with bla uh, beautiful flowers and all the neighbors will meet and then they will have some music probably and you know this good life beautiful things let's walk some uh, i love the benches here maybe if you're from far away or not slovenian it wouldn't um, mean that much to you but they're really culturally significant and each of them have their own story uh, some poetry like lots this. of flowers and lots of hard-working people who are um, be beatifying how do we say in english um, the streets um, it is a very special place, you know, everything around here is special, the, like on the right hand side there is a really nice vintage style, old style uh, hairdresser. Uh, why do we have flesh on? Okay, um, we can't see in. Um, on the left hand side though is a beautiful center. Um, which is made of two or three even parts. One is this one. Oh, they just had a party <laughs> there on the table. Um, it is a cultural center of the Jewish community of um, Ljubljana. This whole building belongs to them as far as I know. Up there. I'm not sure if you can see. I think you can. I can't see from my uh, perspective. It's dark. Um, so that's one part is a cultural center then the other part the inner part which we can't see from here but maybe we can take a peek just to see behind these flowers can you see anything nah, i'm not sure if you can <laughs> they're looking at me like what criminal am i but um inside there there's a small theater it's such a cute little beautiful theater also owned by the jewish um, community of ljubljana and also in this very building on the first floor oh i just hit a flower pot ha <laughs> they're hanging <laughs> behind me on the first floor we won't see it from here but you'll have to take my word for it on the first floor there is a museum of the um the Jewish culture as well as a uh, small synagogue so they have this room with Torah and um, they perform their rituals here um, whenever it's time for that so um, it's a beautiful place um, not just because of the Jewish um, Jewish part or uh, the hairdresser we'll also see uh, some uh, a restaurant um, I mean you know I just wish that I would know all of the people in this street because I think there are so many stories in these apartments here it's like all the residents even those who are only tenants um, or the owners or the places seem to be so special and so arty I know that there's a very famous photographer living up there <coughs> I also know that he wouldn't want to be mentioned so mm -hmm, I'm not mentioning him um, there's also lots of details oh and we just almost missed this one wanted to show you if you ever come here and if you like Asian food there's a Michelin star um, restaurant right here you can see the menu um, they also have a nice garden we won't be able to see it from here but you can see a photograph here um, a backyard uh, with a garden and a view over um, to the um, to the street behind but um, what I liked eating here was usually um, a Thai curry let's see if they have it the green one I really liked but I see that they have a lot of mmm oh yeah this is in Slovenian I'm sorry um, let's see if there's any English one there's some English ones there ah so now you can choose your dinner and then when you come the place is called Shambhala um, it's quite famous but you know, very reserved, intimate, um, quiet and, and cute. Um, so I can suggest you to, to visit it um, if you like Asian food, of course. Um, and the street goes on for another, you see, like 15 meters, no, a bit more, 50, maybe five zero meters with benches on every five meters with different historical stories or just uh, different people who lived here in the past and i love those flower pots i mean they just hang them in this time of the year look up there i also like the lamps aren't they cute mm, yeah, the flowers um, and then the whole street you see gets flowery 
like spring uh, should be. Um, and then the fantastic part is uh, once you, you walk through the whole street, um, you end up uh, being at the riverside um, on the river bank. Um, which has been renovated just a few years back and it's now a beautiful pedestrian part uh, with bikes as you can see cyclers everywhere uh, with cafes there used to be such a nice restaurant this one here on the left hand side which is closed now hopefully they'll open again and then the view opens up and then you can see the castle of course on the hill up there with the tower and then you can see bikes it's a free rent a bike system there just um, behind you see that part there um, is the bike um, station and then the whole um, river bank now it's so green that we can't see the other side of the river anymore uh, in the winter time it's so easy uh, you just come here and it opens up um, but there's also this nice place you can see the old machine there uh, which is a pre letter press shop they are designing things and printing them as well as they have workshops uh, it's called Tipo Renaissance I like this place uh, it's old it's this really really crafty uh, they have three tons of um, letters that they use in their letter press um, and they're all made of lead mostly and now we can see another face the other face of the Križe Uniška um, street um, one of the most authentic streets um, in my opinion that we have in Ljubljana uh, also one of the streets that really connects all the people living here so it's like this double thing and the street itself and the community uh, that gathers here and um, works together and communicates is it's just fantastic um, and always uh, such a treat and sometimes I even visit the, the theater just because you know uh, now I saw that they opened uh, they put up the, the tables and the chairs and they're, they're gonna be open for uh, visits and for for drinks now I just want to show you the last scene before we conclude this short walk um, it is the view that I have in front of me now of the old town first of all let me prove that there's a river down there and then the old town of Ljubljana on the other side I like that building with that um, small to red isn't it cute the yellow one and then of course well yeah obviously the tower and lots of charm that's one of the things that no that visitors usually notice about Ljubljana is that uh, how incredibly charming this city is you know all these river banks and nowadays I'm sure they're gonna start slowly uh, with boat rides um, on the river uh, called Ljubljanica and with cafes everywhere um, and also the mentality of people I have to climb back the fence <laughs> the mentality of people you know is this socializing Mediterranean style um, of living um, which is so adorable and um, I think that's one of the things that people really 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 like when they come uh, and when they visit for the first time they almost all of them want to come back again um, or they come back again very soon we're also very famous for the gelato and the pizzerias. Um, the topic of the food, I think we are going to do another walk um, in which we will be discussing and tasting and watching all this marvelous food. Uh, Slovenia is the gastronomic, gastronomic, what is the word? Gastronomical, gastronomical, yeah, probably. Region of Europe in this year, um, which means that there's lots happening um, around the food and we already adore the food anyway um, we are a big foodie destination in uh, these are the terms of you know um, tourism but since the gelato is really famous and it's the time now I will leave you here um, and I'll go get myself a 80% pure chocolate vegan yeah <laughs> it's even hard to explain vegan gelato from the riverbank of Ljubljana um, I hope you enjoyed this short walk if you didn't follow us I see um, that some of you are coming now or um, maybe you will watch later um, take a look at, it, uh, at the video from the beginning on um, and it will also be posted I will post it on um, YouTube channel 
uh, and you know if you feel like it um, I would be really so grateful if you could uh, buy me a coffee I will um, attach the link um, below in the description um, it means so much even if it's only three dollars three euros five euros uh, I love coffee actually I love tea um, and I'll be drinking it uh, thinking of you um, if you manage to do that if not um, it was a pleasure bringing you here uh, to Ljubljana I wish you a beautiful is it Wednesday right Wednesday um, and I'll see you soon uh, back in Ljubljana take care bye mm, I got it the ice cream chocolate Mm. just to prove that actually I did it at the end of our walk and next time we talk about food or the next time or maybe even the next uh, well enjoy have fun bye